in this question, we have to find d2y by dx squared for y equals 2x minus 3 raised to the power of 4. So remember, when you have to differentiate an expression in this form, so you have an expression with x inside brackets and a power outside the brackets, you need to use the chain rule to differentiate, okay? And because we're finding the second derivative, we have to differentiate two times, okay? So I'm going to start with the first derivative, dy by dx. And remember, when you differentiate using the chain, chain rule, you differentiate the outside of the brackets, the inside of the brackets, and you multiply those two answers together. Okay, so I'm going to start with the outside of the brackets. So look at this power here. 4 multiplied by these brackets gives us 4 lots of 2x minus 3. Not forgetting to decrease this power by 1, so we're left with cubed. Then I have to multiply this answer by the derivative of what's inside the brackets. Okay, so I have to find the derivative of 2x minus 3. So if I differentiate 2x, I'm left with 2. And if I differentiate negative 3, I get 0. Okay, remember whenever you differentiate a constant, you get 0. So now if I simplify this, I can multiply the numbers here, 4 and 2 together. So 4 times 2 is 8. So the answer is 8 brackets, 2x minus 3, all cubed. Okay, so there's the first derivative. Now I have to differentiate again to find d2y by dx squared. And again, I'm going to use the chain rule. Okay, so I take the power on the brackets 3. I multiply it by this number here, so 24. The brackets always stay the same. The power on the brackets reduces by 1, so I'm left with squared. And then I have to multiply by the derivative of what's inside the brackets, which we already know because we did it earlier. Remember, the derivative of 2x minus 3 was positive 2. Okay, and then we can just calculate that or simplify. So 24 multiplied by 2 is 48. So the answer is 48, 2x minus 3 in brackets, all squared.